Welcome, young explorers, to Reading Redness Centers today. We are going to embark on a fascinating journey to understand the concepts of time zones and longitude. Get ready to learn about the intricate workings of our planet's timekeeping system. Imagine you have a friend living in a different part of the world. Have you ever wondered why the time might be different when you call them? Or perhaps you've traveled to a new country and had to adjust your watch to the local time. These differences are all due to the way our world is divided into time zones. What are time zones? The Earth is divided into 24 time zones, each representing a one-hour difference from Coordinated Universal Time UTC. This means that as you move east or west across the globe, the time will change accordingly. Let's use an example to better understand this concept. Imagine you're in New York, and your friend is in London. If it's 3 p.m. in New York, it would be 8 p.m. in London. This is because New York and London are in different time zones, with London being five hours ahead of New York. The reason for this difference is that the Earth rotates on its axis once every 24 hours. As the Earth rotates, different parts of the planet experience daylight and nighttime at different times. To keep track of these changes, we've divided the world into 24 time zones, each representing a one-hour difference. What is longitude? Now, let's talk about longitude. Longitude is the distance east or west of the prime meridian, which passes through Greenwich, England. Imagine a line running from the North Pole to the South Pole, dividing the Earth into Eastern and Western hemispheres. This line is called the prime meridian, and it's the reference point for measuring longitude. Longitude is measured in degrees, with the prime meridian being zero degrees. As you move east or west from the prime meridian, the longitude increases, with the maximum being 180 degrees east or west. This means that the Earth is divided into 360 degrees of longitude, with each degree representing a distance of approximately 69 miles, 111 kilometers. Understanding longitude is crucial for navigation, as it helps us determine our position on the Earth's surface. Sailors, pilots, and explorers have long used longitude to chart their courses and find their way around the world. How do time zones and longitude relate? Now, you might be wondering, how do time zones and longitude relate to each other? The answer is quite simple. Time zones are determined by longitude. Each time zone is approximately 15 degrees of longitude wide. This means that as you move east or west, you're essentially moving into a different time zone. For example, if you're in New York, around 74 degrees west longitude, you're in the eastern time zone. If you move west to Los Angeles, around 118 degrees west longitude, you're in the Pacific time zone. This relationship between time zones and longitude is crucial for keeping track of time around the world. Imagine if there were no time zones, it would be incredibly confusing to coordinate meetings, flights, or even phone calls with people in different parts of the globe. Real life applications. Now that you know about time zones and longitude, let's see how these concepts impact our daily lives. Imagine you're planning a video call with friends in different parts of the world. You need to adjust your clock to match their time zone to ensure that you're all available at the same time. Or, when you're traveling, you need to adjust your watch to the local time zone to avoid confusion and ensure you arrive at your destination on time. Time zones and longitude also play a crucial role in international business and communication. Companies with offices in multiple countries need to coordinate their schedules and meetings, taking into account the time differences. Let's look at some additional examples to illustrate the importance of time zones and longitude. Imagine you're a sailor on a ship traveling from New York to London. As you cross the Atlantic Ocean, you need to adjust your watch to the local time zone. Or, 
Imagine you're a business owner with offices in New York and Tokyo. You need to coordinate meetings with your team in Tokyo, which is 13 hours ahead of New York. You'll need to adjust your schedule accordingly to ensure that you're both available at the same time. That's it, young explorers you now have a solid understanding of time zones and longitude, two fundamental concepts that shape our world. Remember, these ideas are not just for geographers, they are essential for navigating our increasingly interconnected global community. Thanks for joining us at Reading Redness Centers. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more engaging educational content. See you next time.